Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, Earthlings. I hope you can hear me over the wind. It's really quite windy here today. I'm so glad I'm not doing a dolphin trip today. <laughs> oh, it's quite hot now, actually. But that's my age. So, my fascinations of the psychology that goes on with Meghan and Harry continues. And I rather thought that that would be the case, that Harry would attend without Meghan and that Meghan would stay in California with the children. Um, and I find the whole thing fascinating, extraordinary, and very, very odd, actually. But I did think that was the decision that they would make. I felt all along that they've painted themselves into a corner, <laughs> that they may well have made demands that have not been met, that I think the reality um, of the lack of popularity has hit home with Meghan, I'm not sure with Harry, because I think Harry's a lot dimmer than her. With the Jubilee last year, I honestly don't think either of them realised the level of unpopularity until they got to St Paul's, and even with the bells pealing like that, I think that the, the level of noise of the booze, which I fully support, I'm glad, the reason I wanted the booze last year for the, the Jubilee was to get the message through to them to stop it for their own goods as many as well as anybody else's it's all so negative and awful but I mean as I've said all along I don't feel that Megan thinks in the same way that an awful lot of people think but I believe that this is my belief my opinion today I really hope you can hear me over this Oop, there goes one of my earrings <laughs> um, yeah, these are just my opinions and thoughts at the moment. Um, she may well have plans in the background, who knows. But I do believe that she has realised that she is very unpopular. And I know a lot of you said, you know, she's got the hide of a rhinoceros, more front than beachy head. Nothing would keep her from there. No, that's, that's not how our psychopathic narcissists work. They've got a more front than beachy head and a rhino, hide of a rhino as long as they have the, the deluded belief. As soon as something hits them in the face where they cannot deny reality, it's beyond, 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 then they generally hide. That's exactly what they do. Uh, and our two are way worse than Megan, trust me, way worse. They're completely psychotic, in my opinion. Well, I've seen it for 13 years now, I've seen the psychotic behavior. Um, there are no lines with them at all. They're not worried if they hurt animals or children. Believe me, there's nothing. There's no barriers with them at all. But even with them, once they realise, once once they hit that, it's like a London to Brighton express train hitting you in the face. Once they hit that, and I believe Megan has. Oh, good. Come on, motorbike. Screaming children. Um, once they have that dawning, punishing blow reality, then they generally hide. Um, I'm watching the Met Gala, Anna Wintour, I'm watching that carefully. I'm pretty certain Meghan will not be going to that. This announcement that it will just be Harry going to the coronation, that's officially from Buckingham Palace and Omid Scobie, of course. Meghan's mouthpiece. So it's, it's very interesting psychologically, I mean, and they make a big do about Archie's birthday, which I've mentioned, but as a lot of you have said, and I, I remember we did do it with R2, if the birthday fell on a weekday or an awkward time, we'd have the party the weekend before or the weekend after or something like that. And they could easily have done that. So I don't believe, and the fact Harry is going to go, so he, you know, they say, oh, it'd be a fleeting visit for a couple of hours. And then he's gonna go back to cut the cake with Archie is the implication. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe this is anything to do with Archie's birthday. Oh God, there goes the other one. Obviously shake my head a lot. Must be because I'm so salty, as someone who called Stephen likes to comment. <laughs> I'm not sure how to take that. I am a bit of an old salty old sea dog. So yeah, I don't believe for a moment that knowing or seeing Megan's personality play out, I don't believe for a moment that Archie's birthday has come into consideration. I believe demands were met, de uh, demands were made, demands were not met. There's been a lot of shenanigans, toing and froing, arguing in the background. That she's been watching 
not only the newspapers, social media, we all know she watches social media, I bet she watches all these channels and she's thought to herself, sod that for a game of soldiers, there is no way she is going to risk, I give up, there's no way she's going to risk utter, utter humiliation, which is what it would have been, I believe, South Park placards, come on, and who's to say there won't be a few South Park placards there with him? But I, like I say, I think he's a bit daft as a brick. I don't think he's, he, he's got to play catch up all the time with her, hasn't he? So yeah, it's very interesting. And I'll be fascinated to see what you guys make of it because a lot of you were really convinced that she was gonna go. Um, I was about 80% certain she wouldn't go and it would be Harry on his own. And he may still not even go. There may be some last minute excuse. But I, I would be very shocked if she made a sudden last minute appearance. Maybe, maybe she will, that's what an awful lot of you have said, that you believe she will make a last minute appearance. Um, but I don't think so. And also, as I've said, I think I started saying it since October last year, I believe that they are separated. Um, and then it, there's a breakdown going on. Because you can bet your bottom dollar, if that was me and Graham, we were glued at the hip. And so were the kids. We travelled together as a group, everywhere. You know, I mean, we wouldn't have taken little kids into something like the coronation, but we'd have taken them with us to the country and had babysitters, and we'd have been together as a group. There's no way, no way, you know, when you're when you're a close-knit family, especially if you feel under pressure, then, then you tend to stick together more than drift apart. So I do believe there's trouble at mill, as we say in the UK. Trouble at mill means a up. Well, you probably the American don't know what way up means either, or now then. Um, there's problems brewing. There's problems brewing. Um, you know, who knew? I'm sure, I think all of you guessed it 100% correctly. And I do think it's very, very odd um, that Harry would go. You know, why? Is this for Netflix? Why? Because he loves his father so much that he slag he slagged off for the last couple of years. That he loves his brother so much that he slagged off for the last couple of years. Why, why, why does does Harry feel that everything, you know, um, according to Lady C, she had heard rumours coming back that Harry had been saying to Meghan, and Lady C, you know, her information obviously wasn't pretty on the nail, that Harry had been saying to Meghan, you know, you've got to pull yourself together, we've got to go to the coronation, everything depends on it. What depends on it, Windsor? What depends on it? Um, it's not you being crowned. You're what, sixth in line, fifth in line, seventh in line, something like that. You don't have to be there. Nobody cares if you're there or not. Uh, I'm glad she's not going, my personal feeling. I'm not only glad because I want to watch the coronation without a load of drama from her, but I'm also glad for her. I'm glad for her because I don't actually take any pleasure in seeing another human being suffer, even someone as odd as Megan, and she is odd. Um, I think it's the right decision for her. She'll most likely, as some of you said, announce the divorce on the day of the coronation to take away. There'll be something like that or an attempted suicide or what is it people say, um, magnancy or a um, myth carriage or something like that. Some of you said, who knows, who knows. I dare say if she's staying in California, there will, there'll be a big PR stunt. Um, but it was a week ago that their camp said, and again, it was very odd for them to say they'd received an invitation but would not say if they were going to go or not. That's an odd thing to say. You know, to say we've received an invitation, unfortunately we can't make it. We've received an invitation, yes, we can make it. That would be a normal thing to say, or just don't say anything at all. Don't say anything at all because they don't have to. But to say, yes, we've received an invitation, but we haven't decided yet. I believe there's been an awful lot of arguments going on. There's been an awful lot of something going on behind the scenes and talk about washing it all in public. That's an awful shame, isn't it? Anyway, so there you go. So he will be attending the coronation. I can't wait to read your comments, thoughts and opinions on this. And I'm sure there will be more to come in the days to come. As always, thank you very much for watching and listening. I hope you could hear me. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow.